Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, so um, hmm. this video is not about Big Brother, yeah, but it's something like it shocked me to my bone marrow when I had this gist and when I now saw the video to see, okay, let me just start with this. So Ebano Supermarket is a very big supermarket and their branch, they have a branch here in Abuja, which caught fires last week or so. I mean, um, Ebano is a very well-known supermarket in Abuja. I stay in Abuja and it's, it's a bit far, you know, to my house, but it's really not, it's a bit far to my house. Yeah. But it's where I normally go, you know, if I want to do like monthly grocery shopping and all that or for personal stuff, because they always have the things I need. So guys, um, that night a friend called me and said, Oh, Ibano is on fire. I'm like, ah, how? And I thought, okay, oh, it's maybe a minor kind of fire put out and everything. Until I had something to do around that place. And when the guy that was carrying me passed, I'm like, Jesus, like, is this a banner supermarket? The thing was burnt down. And I was super, super concerned. Like, ah, you know, some people were saying there were lots of theories. You know, everybody was like, okay, what happened? Hope no life was lost. I mean, that was even my main focus, you know. Um, but everything in the shop went. Like, everything, the fire gutted everything. So, only for us to find out. Like, I woke up this morning and this video was trending online. And this video, watch this video closely. Now, this person, this girl, is said to be a nine-year-old girl who strolled into the shop with her sisters or her family members and she went to the um i know this session because i mean i know this section of the supermarket is downstairs not the upstairs and she went in and they, i think they call it households where you can have you can buy anything concerning household um plates and um, all that please ignore the brag um the dog back in the background and she walked in look at the way she walked in this is not this is for me i feel this is premeditated because she walked in there went to the lighter section where they have all those gas cylinders and everything and you know this um lighters you can use to light your gas cooker and your gas ovens have gas inside them and she, if you watch her body language, she puts the fire and she kept turning to make sure that that thing has got a fire. And then she walked away. Many things I'm seeing here, you know, that are really off for me. First of all, Ebano, they always have staffs in charge of different aisles. So I wonder what that staff was doing, even though I must say that sometimes when you go there, that you have to start looking for the staff in charge of there in case you have a question to ask and all that. So I guess their lapses, this is what one of their lapses caused them because it's almost as if nobody was paying attention. And if you also notice in the video, when somebody was passing, the girl stopped knowing that it's not an accident. Like she knew this is pure arson. She knew what she was doing. And what is shocking me right now is that this girl is a nine year old. As if this shocker in this video is not enough. Now, this other video was also released. And this is like, according to the narrator, 7.30 p.m. Because this thing happened around, I think, 7-ish. And 7.30 p.m., this is outside while the building was, you know, on fire. Firefighters came and all that. These are like, if you look at this video closely, please ignore the background noise again. I don't know why these dogs are going crazy. And I really don't care. I'll keep saying what I'm saying. So um, these firefighters, I'm sorry, these girls, the, these women, this, I don't know, the girl and her family member, Sha, look at them. And look at her sister, one of her sisters, the way she is smiling. Like, as if, okay, mission accomplished. Well, the good thing here is they were arrested. And um, the question is, who sent you? What motives do you have? Why would you go to burn that? Like, they burnt down a supermarket that has goods worth 5 billion naira. How are they even going to solve this issue? 
in my head i'm thinking like i am really really concerned like i don't know what would prompt a nine-year-old to do this what would prompt somebody to go into another person's business another person's sweat to do this for me i feel there's more to this than meets the eye this story is just unfolding and i'm here for it what do you guys think are you as shocked as i am because i am shocked i mean for me to be making this video and ignoring all the background noise that shows that i'm really really shocked i'm sorry Sorry, this is not about big brother but i just wanted to put this out there what you guys think let me know in the comment section thank you very much and have yourself a beautiful day